if you're looking for a crazy chicken story, I got a crazy chicken story. How we went from six to 20 to 2,000 chickens in a very short time. There we go. If you watch some of my videos, you know I have some rabbit ones. You know, I'm kidding around with the goats. One of these videos I'm going to make with Bob and the cows because we have some really cool cows. I even have a funny one with a horror story at a bar. Yeah, no joke. We have some really cool dogs and we can have some stories with that. I even have some crazy deer stories. You guys, I have hit 13 deer in my life, but this one is all about the chickens. This story starts in March of 2014 when a friend of mine, Carol, gave me six chickens to start with. Didn't want six chickens, but she gave me six chickens. Bob and I was not ready for six chickens, so Bob's sister kept our chickens. Within the very first week, we did not have six chickens because of predators. So now I'm really upset because now I all of a sudden do want chickens. So Bob decides to go buy 20 chickens for me. Originally, we were only going to get like five or six or something. But the guy told us that, oh no, half of these won't make it before you get home. So that's why we got 20 to start with. Well, these little fellas did so good. And we we're having so much fun watching them grow that Bob decided now it's time to expand so he went and bought me eight little silky chicks and those things are just so cute now we have 28 chickens in the house so bob has to build these little runs for them so they can start going outside because they are overrunning our house got a worm the other ones are coming after him wanting that worm <laughs> Is it bouncing everywhere? <coughs> this is so funny. Poor princess. Tinkerbell just wants to play. So these 20 original chickens started turning out to be 10 roosters and 10 hens. And we didn't really want roosters, so that's another story in itself. But we did finally get rid of the other roosters. And now my breed is slowly dwindling down. So now Bob is buying 10 more of this breed, 10 more of that breed, 20 more of this breed. So now we have back up to 50 total chickens which now puts them back outside building more pens and inside building more brooder boxes don't let him fool you he says that this whole chicken thing is my fault but he's the one who kind of promoted it and about now we start going to chicken shows and chicken fairs and buying more chickens and starting to learn about more breeds starting to meet some really cool friends and now we have to build more building space to hold these chickens about this time, our hens are now laying eggs, and I'm getting really excited. And we've been buying people's chickens, so Bob decides, why not? Let's go incubate. So he goes and buys a huge incubator. With this 300 egg incubator, we had it full on several occasions. And when I say several occasions, Bob had to make these brooder boxes, which would hold a hundred chicks per box. And we had 10 brooder boxes with these lambs in his back man cave room. So we had 10 boxes with a hundred chicks per box with at least two lights per box. Our utility bill was through the roof.
Mama's getting excited. You can hear her. Oh. Uh, it rolled away. There it is, there it is. It just came out, it just came out, it's out, it's out! Oh, It's so tired! You're out! Oh, There's an eye! Oh goodness, is that hard work? Huh? It's out, baby. It just now came out. Oh, there it is. It's moving around. Oh, like I can do this. Goodness gracious. No, it's a white one. A buff. Oh, goodness. There you go. Get some action. Oh, this is so exciting. I have this on video. Oh, goodness. In the beginning of this incubation process, we only incubated maybe 24 to 48 at a time. And then we just kept buying more fertile eggs of different breeds because we kept wanting to expand our breeds and our lines. And before you know it, we had over 2,000 of these little baby chicks in our house, in these brooder boxes and outside. We were just flowing crazy with all these chickens. Not gonna lie, we did enjoy every piece of this. They are so cute and they, I just enjoy taking care of them. <laughs> they are just the funniest things to watch running around. Besides just going out and buying people's fertile eggs, we started hatching our own and we had a lot of eggs of our own that I was just giving away to friends and family. I even had a Jen's Eggs page on Facebook trying to sell them. I would take dozens of eggs at, at a time to work for people because I had so many eggs. These eggs were small, down to tiny itty bitty. We even had one. Her, she was a hen. I loved her to pieces. She gave us what we call the master egg. It was the egg inside of an egg. We named her Bertha. The little eggs came from the mill floor duclays, and then the bigger eggs usually come from like our marins or some sort. Now we're boxing up our little baby chicks and we're selling them away to our friends and family. And then we even went to Jacob's Cave, which is a huge swap meet. And we sold about a thousand chicks within not even 48 hours. They all had a bath. They're all dry. And they're not going anywhere. And they're falling asleep. Look at them all. So fuzzy. Some film. Watch, he'll come to me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Not you, princess. Not you, princess. Come here, sweeties. Come here. Come here. Hi. Oh my god, no food. No, princess, stop. I can't record. Come here, baby. Your ears are hurts. Yeah. Princess. Hi, Ollie. <laughs> I bet you in your thunder. Come here. Come here. Got two dogs. Come here. Yeah, he, he, he won't come if you're in the way. Give me. 
Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? <laughs> Hi, Mama. You got baby? Did we come home to some baby? Huh? Yeah, Mama. She's a good Mama. I won't mess with you or your baby. Aww. And now our hens are naturally hatching their own eggs outside. And me being me, I have to bring them in the house because that's what I do. Bob didn't like it. And the police did come visit us because we had so many chickens. But I promise you, that story ends well. Naturally, we started to name our chickens and we had our favorite chickens and we named our chickens after our kids. We named our chickens after our friends. We just had so much fun and our friends were just coming out just to see them. The, like I said, the police officers came out and then a week later I got pulled over. The police officer remembered me. He's like, oh, you're the one with all the chickens. And he actually was going to buy some for his wife for Easter. This whole thing, like, that's how everybody knew me was, Jen's the crazy chicken lady. We had more breeds than we knew what to do with. We had 18 chicken areas, like, and I say areas, like, huge chicken areas all over our yard. We had acres full of chickens and different breeds. And there were just... A, the house is full of them, the yard is full of them, our garage is full of them, our back shed is full of them. We just had so many chickens, we would sell them, I would sell the eggs, I would get rid of the eggs. Guys, I'm telling you, we had so many chickens. And there wasn't any slowing down in sight. Like, we just kept hatching them and incubating them, and we let the mamas do their thing. We would uh, just, I don't know, we just thought we just needed more chickens. And at not one time did we ever say, whoa we went overboard or we've got way too many then we know what to do with no i had names for these chickens and i would go out every night and i would count them i would make sure that there was the correct amount of chickens in each coop that there was 58 over here there's 72 over there there's 104 in this one and when we was moving oh my goodness i had to have my mom come help me and i knew exactly where every hen and ray would be in this yard i say there's some up in this tree there's some over here and we had I don't know how big the trailer was that we had to bring to the new house from the old house, but my mom was like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize you had this many chicken. And now that all my friends and family thinks I'm chicken crazy, everybody started making me things. They made me uh, things for my computer at work. They would buy me chicken things. They would make me chicken things. They made chicken sweaters for my chickens. Like it was insane the amount of gifts that I got just for the chickens alone. <laughs> I have the shoes, the hats, the bags, the shirts, the whole wardrobe, you name it, I've got it. I have friends that's bought me a book for my birthday one time. This is a really cool book. It's 
really informative. I highly recommend this book. It's a good one. I have a friend that made me a really big, huge poster board for my house. It's a really big wooden board. I have a friend that made me a chicken egg collector. So that was pretty cool. She actually made that for me. And my aunt and uncle made one. Uh, it's a sign out of their actual shed from their backyard that they built me a Spigo sign for me. And then my daughters bought me all these chicken egg collector thingies and necklaces. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm not even kidding you. I have gone chicken crazy. <laughs> Even in Hawaii, I got to listen to this every day, and I'm telling you, I did not get tired of it. <laughs> that is so exciting. We have dwindled down to about maybe a hundred, maybe a little more, a little less, I don't know. But we don't have as many anymore, and we don't plan on going that crazy anymore. We do love the chickens, and we love the life, but... It's just a little too much. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my crazy chicken story. See you next time.